Hi everyone. I'd like to talk to you today about designing a travel poster in Adobe Illustrator. Now, uh, what I have here on the screen are a few examples of a poster artist that I really admire. His name is Michael Schwab, and he's known for doing uh, these really dramatic and interesting posters uh, for the Park Service and for clients, you know, around the country. But he's probably most well known, I think, for his uh, Bay Area posters. Um, he's done a variety of them for different locations all up and down um, Northern California. And they're all trademarked by this interesting dark silhouette, solid colors, solid shapes, interesting typography, a uh, very interesting style. So if you look him up, you'll see a lot of interesting examples in his portfolio. Well, um, his style actually is done by hand. He still uses pencil and paper as he develops his concepts and as he does the finished art he prepares them for um, different forms of printing. Um, this style however does suit what we do in vector art and I've uh, over the years mimicked that style in different forms and uh, I'm going to tell you a little story about uh, a poster that I designed a vacation poster, a travel poster uh, based on this technique. So what this comes from is a visit I made to a museum called Rancho Obi-Wan. It's not widely known, but it's the largest Star Wars memorabilia collection in the world. And it's located up in Petaluma, California, and it's run by Uber fan St uh, Steve Sansweet. And I just love visiting there. It's a lot of fun to see all the stuff and to get a you know, a personal tour of all the toys and merchandise and everything that has surrounded the, the development of Star Wars over the years. And so for somebody like me, it's a place I wanted to visit. After I was there, um, I decided I really wanted to do something as a tribute for them, a gift, something that, uh, you know, represented how I felt about the place. And so I thought, wouldn't it be cool? if they had a Michael Schwab style Rancho Obi-Wan poster. And I went through a, a few different ideas to develop it. And uh, ultimately, I came up with this plan to develop something like this. Now, this is the rough sketch, okay? Uh, I like to draw, I like to sketch. And so for me, this is where I do a lot of my thinking. I think about what I'm going to do and I think about position and placement and design on paper. That really unlocks your ability to, to cycle through ideas. Uh, other people skip this step and get away with it, but for myself, me personally, I can't. I always need to do this development stage. Uh, I tend to get tunnel vision if I only do one idea and follow it through without doing any thinking, any visual thinking. Uh, I always like getting something down on paper, then I can kind of react to it and try something else and try something else. But in this case, this is the one I settled on, and let me explain it. Um, what you see here is a chicken. What do chickens have to do with Star Wars? Well, the funny story about Rancho Obi-Wan is that uh, Steve built it out of an old uh, chicken farm. So there were all these uh, large buildings, chicken coop warehouses, that were part of the farm where all the chickens lived. And uh, they became the perfect place for him to store and display his collection. And over the years, he's um, cleaned them up, refurbished them, and turned them into a beautiful little museum spot. And um, there are still chickens wandering around the yard. So there's a little chicken coop and other things. And so as I explored different ideas, I thought, wouldn't it be funny to put a helmet on the, the chicken and kind of make it look like Vader? Uh, also, I wanted to show in the background uh, the barn and buildings. And actually, this is taken from a view from a picture I actually had of uh, the countryside outside the, the main museum. Then I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a face kind of revealed in the clouds? 
Now this is Rancho Obi Wan, so it uh, facing the clouds kind of serves a dual purpose. You've got Obi Wan Kenobi and Steve Sansweet himself up there in the sky. So it's a little bit of a combo. Ultimately, that sketch turned into this. So what you have is a uh, a poster built out of that concept done in that Michael Schwab style. So I tried to pay attention to dark silhouettes, really focus on bold lines, and set up a nice grid pattern to create what looks to me more like a uh, rule of thirds type uh, composition grid. So to develop this, I use another set of preliminary steps. And so let me bring you over to the preliminary art here, or the, the final art actually and you can kind of see how that's developed. I'm going to turn off my layers here so you can get down to to where we start. <clears throat> so this is what I call my down and dirty Franken design. Um, when I say Franken design I mean like Frankenstein taking different unrelated photos and mashing them together to build my own reference. Uh, I like working from photo reference. I need to work from photo reference. It's what helps me develop my ideas. Um, and uh, in this case, working in Illustrator, uh, I needed that to help develop and render my concept. So here I got a chicken and the coop and the Darth Vader head all put together, just mashed together, not very neatly actually, just kind of thrown into uh, a Photoshop file so I have something to work on. You can also see my diagonal grid that I used to kind of align things. That's important to me, to make a, a solid design that kind of holds together. Um, then came the hard work, not the hard work, but the, uh, the tedious work, doing the drawing. And so using subsequent layers, uh, I would work on subsequent pieces of the, the artwork to develop them as I went started with the sky and the face in the clouds started working on trees and objects in the foreground um, these were done in combination using the blob brush using the pen tool um, using other shape tools uh, to create those silhouettes uh, ultimately we got to the chicken and then finally the logo design and this logo was a lot of fun actually to work on. It's it's picked up right from uh, the museum logo, which happens to be done in the original style of Lucasfilm, the Lucasfilm logo, and uh, I enjoyed redrawing that and recreating that in Illustrator. And then finally, you know, putting on a frame and finishing it up. So. Uh, in your process, in your design process, you'll develop your own way of doing things. But for me, it's a combination of all the above. A little bit of research, a little bit of sketching, a little bit of uh, Photoshop, Franken design, a little bit of pen tool illustrating in Illustrator, a little bit of the blob brush, and then a little bit of pixie dust, and then you get your finished piece. So uh, that's a quick rundown of building a travel poster and how I did it for Rancho Obi-Wan. All right, see you guys next time.